Hi guys, welcome Dan here from the Magic Junk Drawer. And I totally wasn't gonna do a video today, but this happened and I'm like busting at the seams to tell somebody. <laughs> so, you guys know I've been working with the Law of Attraction and I struggle with it. So, I've been working with Veronica Isles probably, I don't know, a couple of weeks now. And she's a, a coach that you can buy like email packages from her and email back and forth. She offers other services too, like Skyping and whatever, but we've just emailed back and forth. And it's really helpful because if I get stuck or I can't see like what I'm doing that's wrong, she can see it, so it's helpful. It's always helpful to get somebody else's perspective, but when somebody else is more of a master of this kind of stuff, it's even better. So anyhow, so I've been working with her. And I also like Agnes Vivarelli. She's got a channel that has a lot of meditations and self-love stuff, which I've never done before. And this is, you know, it sounds like, um, like it's not that difficult. It's really not that difficult to just do these things every day. It only takes a couple of minutes. And like when I think about how much time people spend like on the internet doing stupid shit. You know, it's like you can't just spend like five minutes and do one of her self-improvement meditations, like really? So anyhow, so aside from that, um, this one girl that Agnes was interviewing was saying that she had a friend and her and her friend would play a game where they would pick something and they would say, okay, let's see who can manifest a red watch. And then they would go back and forth with who got the red watch first. And it went back and forth with, um, you know, different items. So I'm out from my run today and I'm listening to this. And the first thing that comes to my mind is I'm going to manifest seeing an old yellow car. Now, when I mean old, I don't mean like, I mean, it's got to be old, like, like classic old. Like it can't be like something from like 2000 or the 90s. Like it's got to be old. So then I thought to myself, because I'm always a pain in the ass about everything, oh, well, you saw that Chevelle on the throughway yesterday, and that's why there's a yellow car in your head. Yesterday on my way to work, somebody was transporting like a 1970s, I don't know exactly the year, but it was the 70s uh, bright yellow Chevelle. And I noticed it, and I was on the throughway next to it. Then I said, okay, well, so what? So you saw a yellow old car yesterday. It doesn't mean you can't see another one again. And then I forgot about it. Forgot about it. I finished my run. I came home. I showered. I went back to work. And then on my way home from work, I stopped at the grocery store. I'm still not thinking at all about this yellow car. Like, I'm not, it's not, I'm not, just not thinking about it. Stop at the grocery store. This, this grocery store, they make really great roasted Brussels sprouts, and I don't cook at all. And it was like all I could think about with these Brussels sprouts all day. I'm like, I'm going to have to stop there on my way home. So I stopped there, which means that it took me, a, I had to go a different way home. I could, didn't go home the way that I normally do. And I come up to this light, and it's like a two-lane highway, and then there's like a left-hand turning lane, so it's like three lanes. But only two lanes are going to go straight. And I pull up, I kid you not, next to a mustard gold Plymouth wagon from, I'm going to say the early 60s maybe. I don't know. I'm not really good with, I can't really give you dates. I know it was a Plymouth. I know that it was like a mustard gold color. It was kind of like a little bit more gold than it was yellow, but if you were looking at the rainbow and you had to pick a color, you would definitely say the car was yellow. It wasn't green at all. It was definitely yellow. So I am like floored. I'm like, there's your yellow old car. Now this happened, I was out for my run today. I think I went out at 2.30. I came home from work today at, my class ended at 6.30, so maybe it was seven o'clock when I saw this, so it was only a few hours. And I pull up right behind a mustard gold Plymouth wagon from like, I'm gonna say like the early 70s. And I'm like grinning from ear to ear looking at this guy, and the guy must have thought that I was crazy, but all I could think about is, that's it! That's the yellow car! That's the old yellow car that I said I was gonna see. There it is. And it's not like, 
Because then I thought this. Across the street from the conservatory that I take voice lessons, there's, um, there's like a garage or something, and they always have a yellow GTO out there. So then I thought to myself, well, that GTO isn't going to count because it's always there. So there's not even like a garage or anything around this place. Like this is, this is just kind of like a highway. Like it's, there's nothing there. There's a gas station, but that's it. So I'm like, there is my yellow car. See, I did it. I did it. I called in the yellow car. So I'm so excited about this yellow station wagon that I just saw. I had to share it. All right, let me know what you think. If you like what we're doing here at the Magic Junk Drawer, don't forget to like and subscribe. Share us with your friends. If you're interested with the private reading with me, you can contact me through Instant Go, or you can email me, and we can do it through PayPal. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.